My goodness, it is hot. We are back with our DIY Ooh. finalist, Jennifer Stagg, for our very first home and family ultimate right craft off. Who had the idea to bring the very Prager's mom yeah. out in 110 degree yeah. I did, unfortunately. <laughs> it's my fault. Okay. It's officially well, 110. Okay. I'm good. It will All be right. 111 okay. soon. Okay. okay, we gave you a challenge. We gave you some rules. The rules were you have $150. Right. You have a day to shop for your supplies, and you have eight hours to finish your 4th of July themed mm craft yes so what did you what did you make i had the idea of doing a diy firework themed s'mores station if you will mm. so my little girl ruby my four-year-old is obsessed with s'mores every day it's are we having s'mores mama can Aww. we go outside and make s'mores yeah. so what is more small oh there she is Look eating a s'mores that. with daddy yeah oh, do you miss her? i miss her so <laughs> much you guys, I, I miss know. her so She's much. Here working. You know what? Yeah. She misses you too. In fact, she sent this to us. Oh. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. What do you want to tell Mama, Ruby? I love you, Mama. We miss you. We miss you. We hope you win the competition. Good luck. Good we'll luck. see you soon. We'll see you soon. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Oh, oh okay, wait, 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 hang on. Judges, oh, I love this check. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, was that, was that even hormones. fair? I was that know. even fair? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. Fireworks are, and s'mores are very serious. I need to stop crying. <laughs> Guys, I miss her so much. Listen, no. you were working really hard on this project this weekend. I was <sighs> here with you. Yes. You shopped, you built, you ran into a few little issues. We actually have some video. I checked in on you. Yeah. So Jennifer, how's it going? Yes, it's going great. Yep. What exactly are you making here? I'm making a uh, firework s'mores station where kids can come up and grab their marshmallow and their graham and, and chocolate and make their own s'more. So how is this going to be? Explain that to me. Basically, the sides of the bar are going to be made out of cinder block. Think okay. like almost like Tetris blocks coming together. And then these are going to create the bar area that are gonna go through the cinder blocks. There's gonna be two levels. Will you finish in time? I hope so. I think my biggest challenge is the heat, first of all. And um, the pregnancy. You know what, I, I think the pregnancy is an advantage. Who else has a shelf to put their drink on? But I'm going back and forth inside. I think time, as long as I use it efficiently, I think we'll be good. All right, I'm gonna let you get back to it. You have you have hey, eight hours. I'll work, I'll move fast. Godspeed, Jennifer. Thank Good you. Luck. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> you got it done. I did. I got it done. Oh. I finished it even a little bit early. A little oh, bit not. early. Yes, yeah. a little bit We're early. We're gonna find out on your budget too in just a little bit. Yeah. So, okay, where do we go from here? Yeah, so let's talk about how we made the station first of all. So, okay. uh, I got the cinder blocks. All of these uh, items are available from your local hardware store. So, uh -huh. earlier I put them all together. I had the hardware store cut the wood for me, so I didn't okay. even have to worry about uh, cutting it. Sanded it down nicely and then just coated it with my stain. And then you want to make sure you're wearing gloves for this because you don't want to end up with stain all over your fingers yeah. as well, right? So wipe off the stain, right? Then they're all stained. And then we used a coat of polyurethane over them. Then Tara was my awesome helper and she helped me put it together because nobody wants to see a pregnant woman try and lift that. So <laughs> no. uh, make sure you're using a really strong adhesive to stick this together. I used a landscape ad adhesive because if kids are gonna be walking up, you don't want that it to tip over. Uh. Once you get your structure in place, simply just slide those beams into place, and that creates sort of your two levels of a bar or a station. Uh, another great thing, you can, you can just make it a little bit shorter and just make it a bench. 
But on the sides, I love, we left some cinder blocks out so that you can have little planters. Oh, how cute. Aww. On the idea. sides. Yeah. And you can switch out those flowers for seasonal. I love that you can use this. It has some longevity. So if you take off the 4th of July decorations, you can use it year round. Stick some drinks yeah. on there. Sure. Make it a bench if you want. Oh, well, that's a good idea too. So Long now that we've purpose. got the, we actually have the bar ready to go, how do we make these adorable, cute s'mores sticks? You can whip these up in like five minutes. They are so easy and so inexpensive. So just regular old paper, right? This is just computer paper. I've just rolled it up and stuck it with tape right here. So I've got one for each of you. All right. I've started doing it. I stuck some white duct tape on the top and on the okay. bottom. Your daughter could actually help you make these. Absolutely. Right? She would go crazy to make these with me. Yes, absolutely. So you can just use a kitchen knife to poke a little hole in either side, which I've already done for you. Okay. So then we're going to stick on some fringe. This right. is just crepe paper, two dollars at the grocery store. So you can do whatever. And then you colors just cut it and made it little like fringe. Yeah, patch. exactly. I just cut it with scissors to make up this fringe. Like Josie did her hair. She was yeah, exactly. Just a, little, like a little firework <laughs> yeah. hula, hula skirt. Yeah, is exactly. what I think of. Right. So I'm going to give you each one. Okay. Then you're going to use double-sided tape. So lay it flat down. Okay. The, oh, I did the yep. tape. Okay. Yep. You have to use double-sided or it doesn't work. Or it doesn't work. work. Yeah, so lay okay. it flat on the table. Oh. And then lay just stick your double-sided tape on. Yep, I'll let you do yours. I want to check with the judges and see what you're thinking right now. We're judging. Yeah. Judging. We're, yes, judging. we're judging. Yeah. We're taking <laughs> it all in. <laughs> Can we you have walk around and look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take a look at it. The cabin? Remember, we're gonna, I want to ask you about uh, stick it around. The, the phrase oh, that we kind of coined is doability. Uh, creativity, the mm -hmm. purpose of it, convenience. How doable um, is this, Jennifer? Do you think I, anyone at I home could do this? I would say very do doable, yes. Um, you will need a helper if you have a hard time lifting heavy objects. If you're but pregnant. Other than, if you're pregnant, yeah. for example. Oh, oh no. Other than that, oh. and we've got s'mores. Very wow. nice, yes. very nice. I have a question for you. Yeah. Now, looking at this, so this yes. really has nothing to do with the s'mores No, your themselves. s'mores go on the other end. Ah. Yeah. So that's ah. just decoration, exactly. Yeah, that's cute. Cool. You know, I think any holiday, even just a, a dinner on a regular night can be special if you just take a few extra minutes and throw something together and it makes it so much more memorable for your kids and right. how much did this cost you so I would say $65 for everything including wow. the little fireworks right. um, so and I can be bought for the remaining Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Some more. Yeah. Right. I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Ken, has a question. I think I think it's really great. The only bit of sort of const constructive criticism I would say yeah. is I think, and I know we had a theme. It was a Fourth of July. Yeah. You had a. Yeah. But I think it's like limited because basically this presented as a piece of outdoor furniture. Is, it's much bigger, so then people who don't have kids would be like, oh, that's great, because you buy a piece of outdoor, a buffet or anything, it's a lot more. So I think it has, like, really huge application. Yeah, it so does. It's, mm -hmm. it's I like longevity. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think if you're going to... a limited DIY. Exactly. If you're going to invest in a project and spend your time doing that project, I like to get my bang for my buck. Right. right? right. I like to use it for more than one thing. Right. Um, sure. And if you decide down the road you don't like it, cinder blocks do knock down pretty easily. Sure. And that could be fun, too. I really yeah. destroy it. <laughs> Get a I think exactly. the thing that I like the most is when you said how it could be a bench, because then mm -hmm. all of a sudden, I think we have so many amazingly creative people that watch this show, and I think all of a sudden they start thinking of all the other things that could right. become, yeah, yeah, yeah. and exactly. you could put a piece of plexiglass on top, or you could pull these out, and then you could mm -hmm. put a, a comfy seat on top. Absolutely. I just think... The right. using using materials you wouldn't normally think of to create something yes. like this to me is like I would have never ever thought right. about the perfect holes yes. and making it right. movable and changeable. But now it makes yeah. so it's so much yeah. sense. It's yeah, doable. 